But first stop will be in Arizona, but tonight he's in studio with us. Rob, I really appreciate you being here. Brian's nice to, nice to be back. Uh, Jamie had a good time. and uh, Jamie Lissow. Jamie Lissow, my goodness. So you waited. You sent Jamie out yeah, to so explore shows. <laughs> and if he, come back, if he comes back, so how dare you use him for He this? said he said he had a good time. And I said, okay, I'll go. Well, He's like, you made it pretty clear here uh, at a few of the shows leading up to this that at this point in your career, you've had enough success. You said, I'm going to come out and you care about the country most. And you said, hey, when it comes to politics, I can't buy what this administration is selling. How tough was that decision? Well, you know, the easy. When you have little kids and you start thinking about, well, I got a good nest egg for them to take care of them financially. But then, like, what, na what does that matter if the country that they, they live in where, like, you know, you have a guy, a president wins at midnight, 3 o'clock in the morning, he loses. You know? Right. And so uh, at, a, at a certain point, you have to think, well, what are you really leaving behind? If people, enough people, will just say enough of this. And, and, and it's not just the Democrats, it's the Republicans too, because they don't want to give up that power either. And so you really have to, I, I think, um, make, make a case for uh, a return to um, normal, the normal hatred that we have in our government, where all the branches Com are Competitive, yes. yes. Make, it, make it at least fair, where a fairer, and, and it's, it's not going to be a perfect system. This, this is a, you know, this constitutional republic that we have. It's not fair. Right. It's not going to be fair for everybody, but it is a better system. And, and all you have to do is look around to see what's happening in Europe and China, and you go like, you know what, it's still really darn good here. But I, I, think, I do think we have to stop the encroachment of some sort of authoritarianism, which uh, is happening now. I'll give you an example. I mean, your business, stand-up comedy, it doesn't matter who you know. When you get on stage, it doesn't matter who your dad was, your brother was, your sister was. Yeah. Uh, if you don't get the response, you're not going to have success. It's That's a Jerry, meritocracy. Jerry, Jerry Seinfeld says, exactly. He says, like, you get, if you're famous, you get 30 seconds, <laughs> maybe a minute and a half. <laughs> then you got to say something funny. Right. Otherwise, you know, people, it doesn't matter. And so you have to earn it. And so I, I do think that, like... That's the country. That's the premise <laughs> of the country, isn't it? You Go out to. and compete. And I do think you have to tell... Here's the problem, problem I have with Generation Z. Now, th I think they're good kids and they're waking up, but I think we made a mistake by saying, you could be anything you want. Right. You could be anything you want. We have to be more specific with this generation, Brian. Right. Because you could be anything you want. I want to be a horse. No, no, we didn't mean horse. <laughs> that we meant too. policemen, firemen, you know. Right. Uh, maybe astronaut, may probably not, but, but maybe. You know, and then, uh, but you can't be a wizard. It's just a movie. Or, yeah, and uh, you, you can't pick your gender, especially if you're a child. <laughs> yeah. All right, so can we go back and look at your career and you maybe sure. uh, shed some light. Now the most fascinating career it's which you earned by the way. If I show you this picture, what are you thinking of? Oh. The nineteen ninety SNL cast. <laughs> That's a pretty good group. I would say the money's leaning very hard on the left side of that photograph. Sandler? <laughs> Sandler and Rock there. But and and, and Spade. It, it was a great group. But truthfully I should have been in therapy, not non on T V at that time and figuring out Is what this your first year? It was yeah, 1990 first year. year? And look, I got the pad right there because I realized what an opportunity this you was. You were writing and performing. Yeah. I mean, the thing about it was like um, Saturday Night Live was such an incredible place because if you had an idea that was funny, you thought it was funny Monday, you would find out. You, they'd get to read it in front of everybody Wednesday, and if it got enough laughs, you'd find out if it was really funny Saturday. Right. And then Sunday, people would be repeating it all over the country. And you just hope that you were in the skit that oh, you, yeah, that yeah, you yeah, actually exactly. wrote. I love this movie. It's out of my house in a loop. Big Daddy. What does oh, it mean to you? you? Well, this one was just Adam Sandler um, insisted that I be in this movie because at this time, it was before The Waterboy came out and became like, that made $39 million in October 1996 or 97, which was outrageous. Right. You know, maybe it was 98. And then, and so he couldn't get me hired to play the Jon Stewart role, then he, the other one, the studio said no. So he said, look, there's this one role, you can just come in, and it's... Um, I said, it's a Chinese delivery guy. He's got one line. He said, yeah, just come. And then so I come out and did it. And then he said, just come the next day. And I, I said, there's no lines. We'll come up with some. So he made sure, Adam, this is what right. a good pal is. He made sure that I was coming every day that is for awesome. a month. And he made it into a big role. And there was only one line originally in the script. That is awesome. He broke, you broke out first. He was late coming up, right? You yeah. came into SNL first. Yeah. Now, right over here, this is another, was it 51st dates right here? Yeah, this is one where... 
That was the first time I realized. Did like, you have that outfit prior to the movie? But <laughs> <laughs> well, this one, where you can get, see who the leading man is, and you can see who the idiot is. So this is the first time I realized, like, I was in a, a star. I was in a movie with real movie stars because it was Drew Barrymore and yes. Adam Sandler, handsome and beautiful Drew Barrymore, and they were romantically. I mean, they could just tell they had sparks flying. And I'm the idiot with the mop on my head, and the guy. This one's my good eye. Right. And we had lived most of the stuff, which, which was. And this is another franchise that you guys started, Grown Ups, right? Is this I, a bunch of buddies hanging out, getting be, paid, and having a lot of people <laughs> go to the box office to see? I think so. I think so. But Adam wrote a really funny script and uh, for his buddies to, just, to hang out and have a good time. And the thing about that is, like, the, what, why people like the movies, because you could tell that there's a good camaraderie. Oh, and this one's, that's my sweet little daughter, Miranda. And that's our, my new movie, Daddy Daughter Trip. And, uh, you know, show business isn't healthy for adults, so I, I decided to bring my own children in it. <laughs> Good parenting. But that's... that's, Adam, that's Sandler, Adam Sandler's wife is your wife, right? In this? <laughs> yes. And she's, she's terrific. Jackie Sandler's great. And that's going to open in Mexico February 4th and all over South America, and then we're going to bring it to the United States. Do you still have the competitive fire that got you everything that has got you? <sighs> no. Or is it... Is I it, don't. You don't? No, I, you, know what, you know what I realize is like, it's the time is becoming more precious. That's what gets you. Is right. it the time? And you're like, what do you really want to spend your time on? And it's, I want to be with my kids. But at the same time, when you do okay. something, you have to love it. And I do love acting, and I do love the chance of making people laugh. And that's the thing that get, keeps me going, is when I get in an airport and somebody says, I remember with 50 First Dates, my mother and I saw that movie together, and we laughed, and that's one of my That makes it worth it? That totally does, yeah. Rob, great to see you. Thanks so great much for making time you. with us Thanks on a Saturday night. Pictures. I know you're not used to working this early on a Saturday <laughs> night, but I appreciate you being here. Thank you, Brian. And we'll Brian. check you out in the room in Arizona. Right. We have the key to happiness straight away. Yes, the key to happiness only on One Nation. You heard me. Yeah, that's right. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.